Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, professional hobbit Stephen Pope, and today we have a very special episode because we are actually going to have our first part two of this campaign. I'm very excited about that. But before we get into that, let's meet our players, starting with America's next drag superstar, Eric Reichert. I I I don't I don't know if that that's true. I I'm uncomfortable with taking on that responsibility because I don't feel I can represent that community very well. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm playing Lennox or Lenny, uh, who is a, a a jock and a football person, and and that's all. Uh, and who is your divinity, Lenny? Oh, he his his he has the power of Ninkasa, the Sumerian god of be, goddess of beer, inside of him. Yes, uh, we are also joined by, by uh, the next great American idol, Aki. I was actually going to audition for American Idol when I was in college. Really? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't because it was a choice. I was like, if I don't, if I don't get this job to move to Japan, then I'll audition for American Idol. And I got the job to Japan, left, stayed there for 12 years, and didn't audition for American Idol. <laughs> In the long run, I'm very glad I didn't. Um, anyways, <laughs> my my voice is made for the stage, not not at all for uh, long term, incredibly damaging pop idol madness. Um, anyways, I'm Aki. I play Manny Brown, and my divinity is Maat, the goddess, uh, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Um, Manny is a space cadet who just enjoys being around people and helping them to discover the truth. Nice. Uh, they certainly have the X Factor, Mika. I was not going to audition for the X Factor. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the X Factor is. I've never actually watched it. <gasps> it's, it's like it's American X, Idol. Everyone. But you can do whatever you want. You can do anything. You can do whatever you want. But if I thought you that was America's Got Talent. No, different. It's different. I um, mean, the, in name the, only. The, in name the, only. I think, yeah. yeah, the X Factor was in the UK, and then Simon yeah. Cowell came here to do American Idol for a billion years, and then he started the X Factor over here. Yeah. Uh, like but hi, I'm Mika, otherwise known as R.I.P. Mika, and I'm going to be juggling for you guys tonight. <laughs> I'm playing Dahlia, a theater kid uh, who has the divinity of Persephone, the goddess of both fertility uh, plants and the underworld. You know? She certainly a great does. Trio. Yeah. And I have two pictures in my hand, but only one person can be America's Next Top Model, Kelly. Wow. I mean, I'm so glad that you chose the messiest show for me because that is on brand. Um, I would absolutely like have a lot to say about pretty much all the drama and would definitely be also involved in a lot of it. So thank you for that high praise. Um, I am playing Iris Snow uh, and her divinity is Kali, the goddess of creation, destruction, life, everything. Mostly death, though. Death. Death. Uh, so, if you are just joining us here at Saving Throw, welcome. A uh, few quick announcements before we get into the game proper. First of all, if uh, first of all, we are run. We run on tips. We really appreciate it. So, if you, it keeps the lights on. It keeps the shows going, and lets us know that hey, you like what we do. You like us. You really like us. But you also can unlock some really fun story tiers. This includes uh, some unlocks for the table or some really crazy ones. Like, I don't know, maybe everyone could get a second divinity. I don't know, how could that work? We'll see. Pointed sip. <laughs> I think I broke Kelly with that one, love it. I'm anyway. Just, I'm, I'm shocked. Yes. Uh, you're, uh, don't forget, if you subscribe, you get to be a uh, resident of North Point Academy. You'll be forced to join a club of my volition, but if you want to make your own full NPC, check out our Patreon. So, I believe that's everything out of the way. Uh, unless, Dom, Dom, did I forget anything? Yeah, he says I'm good. Okay, we're good. All right. So, 
Mm. Oops. Anyway, moving right along, uh, we have a toast to kick us off from the great dreamer. Oh, shoot. Wrong dream. I'll just see myself out then. Uh, you know, wrong dreamer. There's no, the great dreamer. There's no such thing as a wrong dream. Just the one you have. Cheers to that. Uh, I'm sorry. Amen to that. That's our saying here. Cheers to that is, I don't know, the cheers RPG. Oh my God, I totally play that. Anyway, <clears throat> so last week on New Pantheon Academia, the four of you discovered that the Rio Grande dorm has been plagued by nightmares and insomnia, resulting in the injury of a student. Uh, Lenny managed to throw together a party so you guys could investigate, where you found out that this is actually the work of the Phantom Queen, the strange being that seems to haunt your school and every dorm seems to have a separate story about her. Um, as you explored a bit further, you discovered that she is hiding within the dreamscape of North Point Academy. And through the powers of Orpheus, the four of you went in, though Dahlia had a fun little interlude where we got to see her uh, receive the Academy Award for World's Best Actress with her date, Edward Scissorhands. I just remembered I'm still in Jean Valjean outfit. Yeah, you're still dressed up like Jean Valjean. It is fantastic. As you guys explore the dream space, you felt found some uh, dream guards. You know, sheeples. Got into a bit of a fist fight with them, though Manny made friends with one of them because Manny can make friends with anyone. And just when you thought things had gotten good and things were going to work out, the Phantom Queen appeared. And that is where we are going to kick off tonight. In this long, elaborate, castle-like hallway, the four of you see the Phantom Queen, her skin as white as bone and drenched in what looks like glittering blood. And she looks pissed. What do you do? Enjoying the party, because I think we are all also pissed. Hey, I don't, I don't mean to be like a dick or nothing, but I think you should like leave the school alone and like let all those keys go, lady. You're the ones with the keys, aren't you? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Us? <laughs> no. I'm just an RA who's concerned about uh, the, the students at the school. And even if we were the ones with the keys, what would you do about it? Yeah. yeah, I'd like to see you try. Well, oh. And with that, I need y'all to roll initiative. Whoa. Burr, 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 burr. Initiative is speed, speed? plus. I dex. gotta get it. Dex. Is it dex? Speed and dex? Yeah. Speed and dex. I'm gonna get this, y'all. I've only been playing this game now for like a month or something like that. Isn't this episode four? Haven't we been playing this? This is episode now? four. I was also I was also scrambling. I was like, I hope that I hope that we Somebody get it remembers <laughs> how the heck we do this. Cause mm. so it was speed plus mm -mm. dex, correct? Yes. Okay. Six. Oh, geez, Louise, that's awful. Six. Six. It's uh, not great. No. no, no, mine is awful. I rolled a four. Mm. Oh, worse than me. Yeah. Misty Flores and it's a me Bondo. Thank you both for the, uh, the subscription. It's a me. It's a me Bondo. Sorry. So we have six for Iris. Iris, uh, why why are you so not ready for this? Um, I think like right now I'm really well. I feel very different. Um, I'm like kind of caught up in the bravado of my own actions. Um, because I'm feeling brave for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think I'm, she's just like very focused on like seeming cool and like under control that she is not fully, she, she kind of traded in her like obsessive paranoia watchfulness for like this cool kind of new persona that she's doing in, in the dream world. I love it. All right, Manny, what did you get? I got a four. Oh my God. 
You know, chat, uh, through your tips, we can unlock rerolls for the table. This is the only way for them to get those desperate rerolls. I'm not telling you what to do, but I am saying you might save their bacon here. Okay, Dahlia. Is it my turn or are you asking what, what I got? What initiative did you get? 10. 10, okay, that's fine. And <laughs> Lenny. I got a nine. Oh my goodness, you all stink. Okay. <laughs> that was I, that was almost a perfect roll for me. 10 is the highest possible number I could have rolled. Oh. All right. So it makes me feel even worse because 16 is the highest I could roll and I rolled a four. <laughs> yeah, I could have gotten a 14. Mm. Listen, it's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. So obviously the Phantom Queen will be going first. Uh, ob wait, obviously? Obviously. Why is it obviously? The not? highest one was a 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was hers? That's a good roll. She's All the right. Phantom Queen. We're about to, you know, fight an actual god. It's fine. Iris, you're the one who was uh, trying to mean mug her, so she comes flying directly at you. In a blink of an eye, she seems to appear in front of you. Oh, yeah, that's going to hit. Uh, what is your defense? Uh, D6. Give me a roll. Wow, 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 wow. I'm cursed on this day, too. Yeah, no. Um, she grabs you by the face. It is like rubbing your face against a pole in the middle of January. It is frigid and awful and... Very unsanitary, you're sure. Mm -hmm. And she throws you. And the three of you watch as Iris vanishes. What? Iris. You are on a very tropical island. Okay. You do not know where your friends are. You are completely alone on this tropical island. And you hear retching and groaning okay um she well so when other people throw up it makes her throw up so she's just kind of like who's who's there and as you call out a man in a long beak-like mask comes out from behind a tree what are He's you doing out here are you barfing in your mask? Uh, he is not answering your question as he goes to grab you by the wrist. <laughs> oh. And we are cutting away from there. Uh, so, Dahlia, you're up. You just watched Iris, poof. Is the Phantom Queen still here? Yes. Uh, Persephone, do you have any ideas? Iris oh. has my sword. Yeah, Iris has a sword. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can make a new one. <gasps> I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Can you give me a really cool sword? I'll try. So spend an AP and give me a power and charisma roll. Ooh, okay. Power. I wish my power was better. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seven. Um, she... You feel the you feel the plant matter in your hand sort of grow and shift, and it makes it very pretty, but extremely light scimitar in your hand. So on your next attack, you will be rolling with a plus one to attack. Okay. Okay. Next up is Lenny. What did you do with Iris? Uh, <laughs> Better give her back, or I, I can't be held responsible for like my actions or whatever. Uh, and uh, I guess Lenny's just gonna let loose a torrent uh, of, of of water from his hands and fire at the at the at the queen. Okay, so we'll see, see how well this does. Let's see, you hear Ninkasta laugh joyously as you erupt. Uh, Nineteen. A 19 is actually going to hit. Okay. Let's see what we got damage-wise. 
12, 13. All right. Um, as the water overtakes the Phantom Queen, as it recedes, you see that she's still standing there. Uh, now she kind of resembles a... Uh, you've never seen an actual dead person, Lenny, I assume, maybe? I don't know your life. Correct. But she kind of reminds you of one of those ghosts that live in a well in those Japanese horror movies. Uh, her hair is now in front of her and the bone crown is sticking out and she looks very upset. Yeah, and there's there's like plenty more where that came from. All right, next up is Iris. You continue, Iris, you continue to hear the retching noise uh, around you. It's not coming from this man in the bird mask, thankfully. Okay. But he is trying to corral you seemingly. Um, well, thankfully I was reminded that I have... Do I still have that sword? Did I? Does you absolutely sword, still it's have with the sword. Me? Okay, fantastic. I'm just gonna, you know, put... Not in a I'm gonna stab you right now way, but like in a just watch yourself way, point the sword kind of at the guy the mask person mm -hmm. and like motion, like, like go get away from me. <laughs> uh, give me a charisma roll to intimidate him and add two to the roll because you have a weapon. Okay, great. Cause my charisma is really bad. Yeah. It's a D four. All right. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. So you said plus two. Yes. Five. Okay. Um, that is a failure, but you do not take any sort of uh, negative. Okay, great. Um, he does not seem bothered at all. Um, you can see through the glass spheres where you guess his eyes would be, there's nothing. It's just kind of an inky darkness. And every so often you see something green and pulsating. It reminds you of mold. Do you, do you work for the Phantom Queen? I hate it when the lepers get out. Lepers? Okay. Iris is freaking out because she, A, has this, you know, she feels very strong because she's in a dream and she knows that she cannot die. But this is like DEFCON zero for her. Okay. Um, Why don't you go ahead and give me an intelligence roll real fast, Iris? Okay. Intelligence. Eight. Yeah, that's more than enough. Um, the Phantom Queen has shunted you into a nightmare. Dang. So I know this. You're able to put that together. Okay. Um, she's going to try to lucid dream. Oh. Okay. Are you going to have Kali help with that? Uh, yeah. All right. Go ahead and give me an intelligence and uh, let's go range on this. Okay. Um, and don't forget to spend an AP point. Will do. Okay, uh, am I adding plus or minus anything to that? Uh, no. Okay, then that's a 13. 13, great. Uh, you begin, to, you disbelieve the illusion. Maybe it's because you've had so much like, I don't know, ego juice tonight, mm -hmm. but you are able to be like, nope, I am not in a goddamn leper colony. And next turn, we'll pick it up there. But we're going to cut back to the hallway in the dream castle as uh, Manny, she has eyes on you now. Uh, wait, it's not my turn? Oh, it is your turn. I forgot, I apologize. <laughs> it's Iris and Manny. What we Hi. need to understand is that it, we always skip Aki's turn at least once in every combat. I, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, so Manny is uh, 
looking around sees that um, Iris has been excommunicated from this combat situation and they are going to call upon um, Ma'at for strength. And then from their hands, they're going to ma manifest a golden rope of light that they are going to then um, wrap around the Phantom Queen uh, it's, 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 it's Wonder Woman's truth with, I'm, I'm just going to say it straight up. That's what's happening here. Um, but basically going to bind, uh, the Phantom Queen so that everything she says <laughs> has to be the truth, <laughs> but also keep her, you know, grappled essentially. Okay. <clears throat> um, go ahead and give me a charisma and power roll. And also mini marker. Thank you for the tip. I'll go ahead and I'll spend my P. A P. And you said it was charisma and what again? Charisma and power. 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 Let's see. I have pretty decent charisma. All things considered. Oh, this is actually not a bad roll for me. All right, let's go. I say that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a very. Ooh, this is nice. Like this is literally a nice roll, y'all. How nice is it? Uh, as in I rolled, it, it's nice. Um, uh, but it is added all together, a 15. That's going to hit. Um, cool. All right. So you will Where not be did doing... you send her? I sent her into a nightmare. How do we get her back? That's up to her. And now the Phantom Queen's going to go. And Manny... She does not like the fact that you just put her in a uh, lasso. Well, she can deal with it. Oh, she dealt with it. Um, Manny, you... I don't get to roll a defense? Uh, instead of defense, why don't you give me dexterity real fast? Sure. That's not cool. I rolled a three. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Manny. She begins to spin and you are holding on to this thing and you, you go flying. You go flying. And when you land, you land in a very uncomfortable metal chair. Uh, and you are surrounded by man-sized squirrels. Man-sized what? Squirrels. Squirrels. Oh, this is cute. And one of the squirrels slams their hands on the desk. Your Honor, my client is innocent. They did not do that horrible thing. They are not responsible for squirrel genocide, the most adorable type of genocide there is. I don't think um, there's any gen like adorable type of genocide. I'm fairly certain that's not a thing. Yes. Uh, Judge Artemis 28 bangs her gavel down and it's actually rather adorable because it's a stick with an acorn at the end. You tell, you tell them to keep, Keep silent. Am I on trial? Uh, another squirrel, this one wearing a very jaunty hat. Uh, Lee. Hi, uh, DJ Regular, uh, attorney at law. Hi, yeah, you are absolutely on trial. For what? Oh, you're being accused of uh, basically squirrel murder. But I would never hurt anything. Yeah. You don't got to convince me, though. What? We found you red-handed. My hands aren't red, though. And you look down and they are red. They've been my painted My hands red. are red. Why are my hands red? Uh, the squirrel judge bangs her gavel again. Red-handed. Guilty. No, I'm, I didn't kill any squirrels. I would never kill squirrels. They're so cute. They have fluffy tails. 
and they play weird fun games with you out on the 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 quad when you when you go outside and, well and you should have thought of that before you commit squirrel murder and throw the book at them suddenly every squirrel around you all a hundred of them produce very comparatively large sized novels and they begin tossing them at you give me dexterity ow 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 yeah, no, no. You're getting pounded by squirrel bucks. No. Uh, stop. Stop! I didn't do anything wrong. And as you defend yourself, we cut back to the hallway. Dahlia, two of your friends are missing now. Oh, no. All right. Persephone, let's use this thing. Is the phantom queen in front of me? Anywhere? Yes. I want to try to slash at her with this okay. Mantar. All right. Are you using Persephone's power at all? I would like her to, uh, yeah, I would like her to spice up this move. Okay. Uh, spend an AP and let's make this dex and power to hit. And don't forget to add one because you are using the weapon you made last turn. Dex and power. Uh, 12. Okay, uh, that's not going to hit. Are you kidding me? No. It's almost like you guys are fighting the final big bad for the campaign. Who knew? But, okay. Yes. Um, you take a swing and she just shatters your uh, saber. <gasps> hey, Persephone made that for me! And she makes eye contact with you, Dahlia, and it is uh, not pleasant. Oh. Lenny, you're up. Lenny is gonna sees that his friends have been taken from this place. And he's like, listen, I'm gonna need you to give my friends back and vacate the premises, otherwise, you and I, we're going to have like a serious problem. Uh, and then he's going to, Lenny's going to uh, trans use this opportunity to transform himself into a being of pure, like watery energy. Like, a, like basically it just looks like a water elemental. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a uh, strength and power roll. Okay. Strength is this one, and the power is this one. Let's see how well we go. Okay. Eight, not the best roll I've ever done on a D12 and a D10. Not great, um, but since you were not trying to hit them, it works, uh, you will attack with a plus two on your next action. Okay, thank you. All right, so Iris. Uh, you disbelieve the illusion and you watch as the trees fall over like cardboard cutouts. Um, you see the leper colony and the disease and filth that the Phantom Queen was going to inflict upon you. And you are actually out of combat now. As okay. you find yourself in a very different place. You stand in a room. The ceiling, you know there's a ceiling because the light in here is uh, way too strong to be just sunlight or a lamp. Um, above you, you see clouds and um, you are surrounded by rings and keys. You have never seen so many keys in your life. They go up and up past the clouds, past your eye, eyesight. And there is, in the middle of this room, a door. Elaborate and wooden and does not match anything you've seen in the dreamscape or in your school. Okay. And all of these keys, do they look different? Like each one of them? They do. And they're they're like attached to like, like you, they're, how are they? They're like attached to like poles that go all the way up or? They are hanging on these, they're hanging on key rings on a wall. 
uh, okay. walls just go on for eternity, for it looks up like. Up and up and up. Yeah. Okay. Um, can, can they be easily removed from where they're hanging? They're just hanging? You can try. Okay, I just want to grab a, a handful of keys. Okay, um, go ahead and make a power and strength roll. Okay. Power and strength. Okay. Nine. Yeah. Um, you feel Kali work with you. You move as one. And as you attempt to touch one of these keys, your hand is shot back and yeah. there's a searing pain. Um, okay. It goes away as soon as it arrives, but it's there. Kali does something you haven't seen her do before, and she takes a tangible form next to you. You're so beautiful. I know. She moves away from you and attempts to touch one of these keys and you see the electricity crackle off them. Mm. That bitch. <gasps> B. I'm not going to say B. Do you okay. I'm not going to tell you how you should talk, but strong, strong language. And with that, we return to Squirrel Jail. Manny, you're in your Squirrel Jail cell with Misty Flores, who is in here. She uh, committed squirrel robbery. Uh, you got 25 to life. Did not. Did too. No. Why don't you go ahead and give me a uh, charisma roll? Okay. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Uh, seven? Yeah, you didn't. You're just having a really weird dream. You were shunted into a nightmare. Which, I mean, I think Manny kind of figured out pretty quickly. You figured out very yeah. quickly. Because but... <laughs> um, <clears throat> like, if, if they'd been the first person that, for this to happen to, it would be one thing. And if they hadn't managed to get Ma'at to pull the truth out of the Phantom Queen, that would also be another thing. But anyways, um, they're kind of looking around and they're like, somebody needs a hug. I think the Phantom Queen just needs more hugs. As you mentioned that, uh, you see your uh, cellmate who is playing the harmonica fall over uh, like a cardboard cutout. And soon the rest of the set does as well. And you see Iris. Oh, hi, Iris. Whoa, wait, is, is it really me? Uh, I mean, it looks like you. Uh, yes, Manny, you find yourself in the key room as well. You got out of your nightmare. Yeah, I did. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty confident about it. Um, Good job. But do not touch these keys. Why not? It's going to hurt. That's why we're here, isn't it? Don't say I didn't warn you. Most what people if, don't heed the warnings I give them. What if we try together? Maybe by ourselves we're not powerful enough. It did feel like electricity. Maybe if we're, does that ground us? If both of us do it? I do, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scholarly. Let's try it. I want to hold my hand out to Manny and try and like hold hands and then also grab at the same time. Yeah. Same. And we will see what happens in a minute as we cut back to the hallway. Uh, so Dahlia, Lenny has turned himself into a giant water monster and uh, you are making eye contact with, you're, you don't want to say death itself, but you're pretty sure this is pretty close. This is very much like uh, 
you know, when Hamilton starts talking about how he matches death so much, it feels more like a memory. Th this is what they were talking about. This is what he was talking about. I want to beef myself up. I want to, I want to give myself like almost a, a mech suit, but made of plants. Well, and I first, want to be I want to be towering over Phantom Queen. Well, sadly, it's the Phantom Queen's turn. Okay, sure. Danger. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's, that's not what I'm gonna do. But afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't know. <laughs> yep. Dahlia. Yeah. Um, you are no longer in the hallway. You <sighs> are on, well, you're not on anything. You're backstage. No. And no. you're not just backstage. You can hear the off key warbling that only comes from Cruise line theater. No, I'm on, I'm on a cruise ship backstage. You're, you're backstage on a cruise ship. I'm not even main cast on a cruise ship theater production. Oh, no. See, <gasps> you're not even in the chorus. Yeah. I'm gonna fall to my- You're the guy they call when, the when someone in the chorus gets sick. And you're on a cheap cruise ship, so that happens more often than anyone would like. Don't eat the shrimp. No, this can't be. I was just Jean Valjean. Oh, no, no, you're not Jean Valjean. You're mermaid number three. And no. your costume is made of that really ugly, shiny silk stuff that, like, itches more than anything. <laughs> Those who do not weep do not see. <sighs> She's going to start crying. Yep. And thankfully, you have the first turn. So, Dahlia, as you weep, what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> can I peek out of the curtains to see what, uh, what stage play I am currently not part of? Oh, absolutely. As you peek, you see uh, this... Uh, it's the Little Mermaid, but they obviously couldn't afford the rights to Little Mermaid. So it's Undersea Princess Adventure. And right now, an uncomfortably uh, dressed lobster is singing a song about how much better life is when you don't question things. And he's terrible. Persephone, please tell me this can't be real. Um, go ahead and give me an intelligence and power roll. Okay. You've truly picked the worst possible nightmare for her. Uh, I rolled a nine. This is literally everyone's nightmare. <laughs> Uh, you got a nine, and Persephone just kind of appears behind you and goes, Dahlia, sweetheart, D Dahlia, yes. um, this is a dream. I couldn't even get flounder, are you kidding me? <laughs> they can't afford a flounder costume here, clearly, this is not... I could have shelled out some of my savings, why would they do never this? Never spend money on your, never spend money for your boss, never. I was just, I would, it would be me spending money on myself. Oh, honey, no, no. Invest in, invest in a YouTube channel or a Twitch stream. Don't do this. Beside the point, it's this isn't real. Okay, this isn't real. Uh, you can tell because uh, you see the lobster? Y yeah. Yeah, that's a, it's a me bondo from your uh, history class. You recognize him now? Yeah. yeah, he's not even in drama. He's, he's in the anime club. Oh, yeah, he would never outcast me. You're right, this can't be real. And okay. with that, sets fall, and you are with Manny and Iris. 
Oh my God, I'm so happy to see you both. <laughs> We're like, one, <laughs> two. <laughs> oh, hi, Dahlia. Oh. You made it. Did you get put in a nightmare too? Yeah, they had me backstage on cruise ship and I wasn't even part of the main cast. I was just. You were probably, understudy for the chorus. That's probably the most far fetched nightmare I've seen so far. And I was in court for squirrel murder. What? You murdered a squirrel? Apparently, I murdered lots of them. They were throwing the book at me. Very literally. It huh. hurt. I ended up in squirrel jail. And I was on a leper colony. Ew. That's disgusting. Hey, lepers oh. can't help that they're sick. Oh, Blame the system, not the player. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, cool. Either way, oh, I did not want to be there. Well, at least I'm not. At least I still have a chance. That being oh. said, we're in the room with the keys. Oh, so we should touch the. I'm going to go grab one. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I'm going to go grab one. Oh, okay, Dahlia. <laughs> um. Actually, no, Manny wouldn't be saying wait, 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 wait. And be like, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe Dolly is strong enough. We should collect all of them before the Phantom Queen comes back. Oh, yeah. Give me a strength roll. Oh, no. I'm a D4 in strength. Ha. I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, Dahlia, you get flung back. And oh. your hair is now kind of doing that thing where it's too much static electricity and it's kind of woof. Oh. Now you look like Edward Scissorhands. I do? Oh my oh. gosh. This is good. This is good. I can work with this. <coughs> Ow. Anyways, we were thinking maybe it's better if we all try to do it together instead of like one by one. Because oh. when, when Iris tried to do it, she also got like super zapped and i haven't tried to do it by myself uh, i'm totally cool with you guys trying it if you think you're like strong enough um, well where's lenny oh and with that we cut back to the hallway lenny um what are you going to do you are alone all right i feel like i've given you sufficient notice to stop sending my friends wherever you're sending them and leave this dorm room. And as you have, have continued to not listen to my commands as a resident advisor of this school, I'm gonna have to forcefully make you leave. And then he's gonna attack. Okay. Roll the hit. All right, let's see how well I do. Make sure I got these dice right. And then I want this one. It's, make sure I, Pick the right dice. Yeah, I want this one and this one. All right. So that's uh, uh, 13. 13 does not hit. Yeah. So you just going to. I have a squeaky chair. In, I have a squeaky chair in the system, I swear. Okay. Uh, you splash at her and you do not hit. And when you take tangible form again, you are in your dad's office. Uh oh. <laughs> um. The mahogany desk is large and imposing. The view over the city is uh, grand and completely isolating and you feel very much alone. This sucks. Uh, okay, so she sent me here. I don't think she'd send the other ones to my dad's house. Is this my dad's house? The dad... Uh, the office doors swing open, and standing there is your secretary, Captain Obvious. Uh, 
there you are. We've been looking everywhere for you. We got, okay, we got like 14 different meetings. Uh, we still have to call your ex-wife. We also have to call your uh, ex-wife's husband because uh, he needs some alimony payments, apparently. I don't, I'm not involved in that. Um, uh, are you okay? Uh, no, nah, not really. Uh, all this is like major confusing to me. Well, suck it up. We don't have time for you to not be okay. All right, we have like 14 meetings and you still need to call your son and it's his birthday today and I wrote that all in your planner. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. We just gotta talk, talk to the Chinese investors and the Norwegian investors. Do not get them confused again, okay? What? Do not get them confused again. Okay, like what year is it canonically right now? It's 2040. Okay. All right, thanks. So am I in the future? Uh, that doesn't make sense. It's not exactly a future I have. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to do any of that, though. You don't want to do it? Well, he doesn't want it. Hey, everyone. Hey, hey. Uh, hey, stands to the fire. Yeah, hey. No. Hi. Hi, uh, just letting you know, just letting you know, the boss doesn't want to do it anymore. So uh, let's all go home. Let's all go home. All of us yeah. are unemployed now. We're all yeah. unemployed. Uh, just like come home, I guess. And uh, I'm going to lose my house. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Are you fucking stupid? Are, Aren't are you I your boss? You're not like supposed to talk to me like that. Yeah, well, clearly you're incompetent. So someone has to. Didn't I just fire everyone? What? Oh my god! <laughs> you know, I thought I thought your dad was a special kind of busted when he left you everything. But this this is great. This is fantastic. Oh, cool! I'm glad you enjoy it. <sighs> uh, see ya. Where do I sign up to dropkick this dude? <laughs> yes. Is this um, like a? He's going to walk to the desk. Is this like a future phone or does it work like regular phone? As you pick up the phone, a reef comes down and presses the button. button. And next to you is a giant smiling vase, for lack of a better term. It kind of looks like a barrel made out of clay. Uh, oh my God. God, this is depressing, kid. I know, this sucks. Lenny, oh, this hey. sucks. Is this, is this like real life? Am I in the future? Is this just fantasy? No, 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 this is, this is, this is a, uh, a very on the nose nightmare, if I dare say. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Cause this, this like sucks, I like a lot. Yeah, yeah, it does. Don't do this. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to. Like a lot of the, a lot of the details that it, that that person spoke of are not things I want in my life. Duh. Mm hmm. So don't do this. We're not okay. doing this. Yeah. Uh, you're noticing that Ninkasa seems to use her vines as hands which is rather surprising as they stick out of her head. Uh, we need to never do this, okay? Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's go through that door. I think that'll kick us out of this. Sure. Crappy place. Oh yeah, let's go turn a party. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh. You walk through the front doors of your father's company, your company, one day, apparently. And you are in the key room, like everyone else. Dahlia's hair yeah. is huge, and uh, Iris has a sword. He's, like, still talking to Ninkasa. He's like, Hi. like, I don't even know what my dad actually does. Is oh. Hi. Hi, Lenny. You made it. Yeah. I was in the Hi, future. Hair. You were in the future. That was different yeah. from the rest of us. We are Well, it was nightmares. a nightmare about the future. Uh, what was it? Uh, I was, I was in my dad's office, but 
I was like the boss and Oh, this... so your nightmare is becoming your father. I get it. Oh yeah. I guess I never put that together. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. We can switch nightmares if you want, Lenny. Oh, I yeah. definitely don't want to live through mine. Oh, what's yours? <laughs> you don't want to know. Okay. It starts pretty, crying again. It was pretty <laughs> awful and probably the most uh, ridiculous of all of ours. Oh, I'm really sorry you went through that. Fetched. Yeah. I have to see if the school counselor's in so I can talk to her after this. Therapy is good after experiencing trauma. Therapy is good regardless of whether you experience trauma. I've also had extensive training good. in in uh, in counseling and uh, uh, threat mitigation. So like if you need to talk to uh, your resident advisor, I can also assist. But I understand Wait, if but you want more professional help. Lenny, but... Who do you, who counsels you? Oh, uh, I don't, uh, my dad says I'm not allowed to go to therapy because it weakens me. Your um, dad is the worst. <laughs> I think maybe you could start making your own decisions, Lenny. Uh, legally, I'm not allowed. How old are you? I'm 16. You're allowed. Oh, okay. Nice. Although my dad made me sign over power of attorney when I was eight. So I think it, it, that complicates a lot of things. We'll find that contract and we'll destroy it. Yeah. I'm really sure it's not at all legally like. Definitely not valid. Not I know valid. I've had, I've had a lawyer look at it and he says, while it is complicated and, and, and not entirely ironclad, the cost of, of fighting it in court would ru financially ruin me. Well, all we have to do is destroy it and eliminate all witnesses. What if? Kali you pats you on your... the shoulder for that one. <laughs> you took all of your dad's money and then you fought him in court and then financially you would be set and he would be ruined. Oh, well, that's... So it's, 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 it's important to note that the truth shall set you free. But first it might piss you off. Oh, okay. Anyways, so these keys. keys. Oh, hell. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, um, I need all of you to give me intelligence roll real fast. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Just intelligence? Sure. Just intelligence. I'm, I'm super, Ew. super smart. Definitely my Over. strong Four suit. Four from Lenny. I'm not smart. I got Six it. Six from Iris. Two from Dahlia. <laughs> I rolled a critical fail. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. On my D4, I rolled a one. This is Man. a very difficult room for us. <laughs> this is really everything is difficult for Manny if it requires them to use their brain. So Dahlia and Manny, both of you are having a moment of like, yeah, we'll just we'll just get the key. We'll get the keys. And Iris and Lenny, um, Iris more so, you realized during that moment there was a lack of colored commentary from a small rodent. And Lenny, mm. you just noticed you're lacking a small rodent. Oh. Orpheus. Yeah. He like. What about him? Well, look around. He's like king of dreams or whatever. He's not here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? he's not here. Oh. Uh... Was he with us in the lobby? He was with you in the lobby and the hallway. So he's alone with the Phantom Queen right now? All right, yep. well, I guess I just got to eliminate her and take him with us. What if he's having his own nightmare? What if he's dead? <gasps> oh, man, Manny. Manny. Oh. Manny. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, he might be the, like the, I'm sorry. No, he said, he said, he said, if we die in the dream, we can't die in real life because otherwise yeah. I wouldn't be so confident, right? Yeah, that only applies to humans, not, well, not gods. It's a little different for us. Who are you? What are you, who are you right now talking? <laughs> From behind the door, you see a figure. Um, it looks like it's made entirely out of jagged pieces of black and green with long flowing shards of red sprouting from the head. Uh, hat. Hmm? Oh, 
Oh, hi. I'm, I'm, uh, salutations. I am the Phantom Queen's associate, Loki. Lovely to meet you. Uh, she sent me on her behalf to murder you. Oh. Loki. But, like, don't. But we're not god gods. We can't she, die. That's the thing. You. I just kind of have to get rid of you, um, steal the keys, and you're all good. You just go back to being teenagers. I don't see what the problem is. She sent you into a place where you had to fight us. You could die, and we yes. could not. Do you hear I, the words that I just said? I do, but here's the thing. I can't die. I'm... What's my name? Uh, Loki. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad we all saw Thor Ragnarok together. Yeah, but did you see the other one? Is that a musical? <laughs> oh, please. The second uh, one was a mess. We don't talk no, about I meant that. the one that came directly after that. <laughs> oh, that's right. I... Mm, but then you uh, have to watch Endgame, and then things get a little bit timey whiny and weird. And everything skips five years later. But that's beside <laughs> the point. Listen, um, you don't want the keys. I want the keys. Why don't we just trade? But we don't want you to have the keys. Also, I think it's up to the keys themselves. Persephone, yeah. do you want to go with this man? I'm not a key. I'm a goddess. Exactly. Sorry, Loki, you're not yeah. separating us. Yeah, I, I actually like my key. Although if, if Ninkasa wants to leave, I can't, like, I'm not going to stop her. But, like, I don't think that's what she's super into. I'm pretty sure Ma'at could do better than me, but I'm what she's got, so there. Uh, Manny, you feel a warmth on your head as if someone's patting you? Feels very nice and warm. Oh, goodness gracious. Listen, 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 okay? I'm not going to lie to you, except when I do. But except more importantly, well, yes, I'm glad we recognize this about ourselves. I am Loki. You are Manny. <sighs> Look, I don't really want to fight. I want to leave. I get the keys back, I can leave. She already tried my key, it didn't work. So we're good. Your key didn't work? Yes, my key did not work. Why? I'm, he pats the door behind him. Uh, and it makes a loud, booming, echoing noise. I'm not the right key. Oh, so there's like a door that she's trying to open and she doesn't she's have the key for that? it. Uh, Ma'at, what is that? Uh, Ma'at takes tangible form next to you uh, in her radiant glory. That is the door of oblivion. Why does she want to open that door? I don't know. Want to help me figure it out? Always. I want to go investigate the door without getting too close to it. Uh, DJ Regular, Anonymous, and Simi David 95, thank you all for the tips. As uh, same to Great S and uh, Great Sage Under Heaven, thank you as well. Well, between the door and you is Loki, who. Uh, doesn't really seem like they want to move. Excuse me. Yes. In my way. Well, tough. I'm not going anywhere. I need your keys. Listen, can I, can, can I like break it down for you? Like, I understand. I feel like I relate to you in a lot of ways because I too uh, lie about my entire identity and also am uh, currently being controlled by a, a greater person uh, that is uh, dictating all my things. And if I make them happy, I can eventually gain my own freedom. So I feel like we're like kindred spirits in that sort of. Uh... Go ahead and give me a, first off, just give me an intelligence roll. Just give me an intelligence roll, please. Just pretty please. We're looking for a five. Okay, let's see. Uh, I rolled a three. 
yep, no, this uh, something is close to clicking. We all see it. It's not there yet. Um, okay, now go ahead and give me a charisma roll to see if you can Ooh. sway him. Okay. I'm not very charismatic. Three. Yeah. Um, our situations are nothing alike. You're a human. I'm a god. And I'm surrounded by god sickles, effectively. And I would very much like to no longer be surrounded by god sickles. And are you lonely? Give me a charisma roll. Five. I don't do lonely. I mean, I'm Loki. I'm a god. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I say that a lot too. What is, what I is say, every time I say that, I'm really bad. I'm fine. The more you say it, the less uh, the less honest you sound. Try um try a deeper intonation. I'm fine. How about that? That's no, nev no. You're never going to make it in Broadway. No, kid. you got to you got to make it about them like uh you got to be like a like in some way make it it's them that's not making you feel good. And then you pass it on to them and then they then they can't question you anymore. Go ahead and give me that intelligence roll again. <laughs> Lenny, that's gaslighting. <laughs> Wait, so you're Three. going to successfully <laughs> gaslight. <laughs> teach it, teach Loki how to gaslight. <laughs> No, I'm having him roll intelligence to see if he can put the two things together and he keeps he failing the roll. He cannot. No. Um... And I don't have an intelligence score even high enough to try, so. Well, Manny doesn't need it. Manny already put it together. We're waiting for Lenny to cross that threshold. <laughs> okay. Listen, hey. I just, I just want to look at it. I don't want to touch it. I'm not going to try anything. And I promise... The Phantom Queen will never know. Go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. I'm sorry, charisma. I apologize. Six. The three of you watch as Manny's just affability seems to work in their favor and Loki steps to the side. Show in my hand so you know that they're staying right here. And Maat and I are just going to have a quick look. And then we're going to walk away from the door. Okay? Okay. Maat, what's up with this door? I want to use Maat's ability to uncover and reveal truth. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a pop. Power and intelligence, and spend your AP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did I thank Captain Obvious for the bits? I don't know if I did. Thank you for the bits. Power and intelligence. It's so funny to roll what is my anima's highest stat and my lowest stat together. It's always very funny. My odds doing all the heavy lifting here. Hot damn. I rolled an 11 and a 3. So that would be 14. All right. So the door does not open. You know this. You yeah. are standing in front of a door made of cold iron and wood. But you can feel what's in here. Something lost, powerful, and incredibly sad. And you can tell whatever is in there, the Phantom Queen wants for entirely selfish reasons. But they might not be as evil as you thought. Well, Loki, you may not be lonely, but I think whatever behind that door is, 
Well, I'm sorry, but that sounds like a personal problem for them. Now, please, uh, you actually seem very, very nice. Uh, Manny, correct? Yeah, I'm Manny, hi. Yeah, hi, Manny, I like you very much. He looks up at Mott, you less so, but you, you seem great. Um, but listen, she needs hey. all the keys. She can't and, have our keys. Uh, but you could come with us. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna work. Have you tried? Have I tried getting away from the woman who has kidnapped literally every god in existence save uh, seven? 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 Yes, There's seven. Or here. There's you. That's five. And then there was that Orpheus. one key. Six. He reaches behind him and holding a knocked out Orpheus by the ears. <gasps> hey, Orpheus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's the seven? Did oh, Orpheus hey, mention did you? That there mm. were five keys and that one went missing the very first night he met us. Oh, you've been a bad bunny, haven't you? Haven't you? I'm sorry, I love this. I love that he's a you bunny. Shouldn't, you shouldn't hold him by his ears. It's probably not comfortable. Oh. You have to support the out. rump. I'm not touching his butt. Did you know that you rabbits can die from fright? Manny, uh, you hold out your hands and he just kind of plops Orpheus into your hands. Immediately you pass him to Dolly. I'm gonna open my bag and put him in the bag. But seriously, at least now you have help if you wanted to get out. We're obviously not gonna get the keys today unless we try something really ridiculous. But we can get you out. Um, Loki, why can't we touch the other keys? Um, the shambling form of Loki goes over to one of the keys and attempts to touch it. Uh, and as he does, he reveals a kind of barrier between you and the keys. She decided when she stole them, no one was going to steal them from her. Can we see that bar barrier like emanating from anything in particular or is it just, we just see it? You just see it. I know she reaches in and she sometimes uses the keys that don't work for, well, I imagine the four of you have seen a crow or two, right? Not the bird. Oh, yeah. the little shade thingies, yeah. Or the big shade thingies. Uh, apparently you use a, a skeleton key on a person and you get something big and scary. I love it. Oh yeah, it, it was, we, we fought a gorilla. Gorilla, gorilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, here's a fun thing. And he actually grabs a key. It is bone white and like ceramic. She doesn't mind if you take the dead ones. Who was that? Oh, I don't know. Whatever he was uh, doesn't really matter anymore. Now he's a well, dead. And he tosses the key. Oh, I'd like to try and catch it. Dexterity, please. Manny's kind of drifted over towards the keys and is kind of looking the cabinet over. Two. <laughs> you almost catch it, you almost catch it and you do not catch it. Uh, it goes right between your hands, like whoop, then your hands meet um, and it, falls to the ground, it does not shatter. Okay, can I just pick it up from where it, it fell Yeah, you absolutely can. Great. <laughs> uh, you pick up the skeleton key, it feels like bone, it's kind of gross and cold, and whatever was in this thing isn't really there anymore. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna ask Kali to look at it. Is that going to cost an AP? Um, asking her to look at it will not cost an AP, but if you want to do something with it, that will. Okay. 
Uh, she takes tangible form and looks over it. Ah, hmm. uh, he must have been a lesser one. Don't know where he was from, though. Oh, I, I, for some reason, these like dead keys are making Iris like especially sad. Um, and I, I want to look around and see if there's like any other dead looking ones. Uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Seven. Oh, great. Uh, with a seven, you managed to find four dead keys. I want to collect them and put them in, in, in my pocket. You do that. Um, you, it's a very weird feeling because right next to these dead keys are these vibrant, beautiful keys, and you know what they can do. You know the power they hold and the horrible beauty they can unleash, and it's just kind of a missed opportunity. It's wasted potential. Loki? Hmm? Yes? Where do gods go when they die? Don't ask me. Every time I die, I'm lying. I'm a consummate liar, you see. Love it. It's so much fun. I don't know why people don't do it more. You're talking to the wrong person for that. Uh, could, probably because like when you start to start to do it, it like cascades into a, an ever-growing web of lies that's uh, harder to maintain. Right, and then you just reinvent yourself as an entirely different person and have sex with a horse. Things happen. I don't think I'm going to go down that path, but all right. We love that for you, though. I don't love that at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if a horse can consent to that sort can't. of content. Yeah. I mean, he did. It was fine. We had a kid. Um, with like nine legs. Oh. oh. See, that's the that's the problem. Yeah, I'm just. I guess I'm just not ready for children. Um, so I'm. It's in a no I for don't me. Think but any you know. of us are ready for that, Lenny. So don't <laughs> yeah, you're not alone with that. Okay, cool. So From Dahlia's bag, be... you hear babies having babies. Uh -huh. so I oh. think that you're going to be a pretty okay dad, Lenny. If you decide to be, with that caveat, yes. Yeah, because parents shouldn't have kids that they don't want. <laughs> No, they shouldn't. Oh. So anyway, we got these keys and... Uh... I would like to give the, the cabinet one good look over uh, just to see what we're up against so that we can prepare for it for later, for next time. Uh, sure. Uh, are you going to have Maude help or is this of just going to be Manny? All right, go ahead and give me power and intelligence again. And spin that AP. I rolled the exact same thing. I rolled a 14. I'm very happy. All right. As you look over the keys, you do notice the spots where, one, Iris has removed the dead keys. And you notice the seven spots where your keys are, where Loki would be, where Orpheus would be, and the missing key. Uh, the missing key, however, is not any, is uh well, actually, Manny, you might actually know this one. Um, it's Anansi. Oh. Oh. Guys. Yeah? We should get out of here. Okay. Um, and how? And then we should talk. Yeah, how do we get out of here, Loki? Oh, um, die. Let me just wake up. Or wake up. Waking up might work. How do we wake ourselves up? Don't say die. Well, then I don't know what you want. An alternative to dying? Oh, well, that's what you want. Fine. Um... Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. And Lenny, you get backhanded by Loki. Ah. 
<laughs> and you find yourself in the uh, main <laughs> in the main uh, lobby of Rio Grande. Oh. Everyone's asleep. All right. The sun is shining. You can hear people outside. Uh, you hear phones going off, alarms going off. You hear text messages. People are just asleep. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to look for a mirror. All right. Uh, you find the boys' restroom, and you absolutely have a reflection. You look like you have spent the night in a sleeping bag in the middle of a dorm room lobby. Ah, not cool. Your hair is just... It worked. It worked. I guess they're asleep. Um, so I'm just going to like poke them. Hey, like, wake up. Your pokes stem through the cosmos and the th all four of you are awake. Um, uh, oh, hi, Lenny. I didn't get to keep the Jean Valjean outfit. But we did get to see Lenny, uh, Lenny get smacked by Loki. That's true. I got to say, I, I wish I could have just really fought someone hard while I was still having all that confidence. Kind of stinks to be back where I am now. Just do that every night, Iris. Yeah. yeah. You get to do that every time you go to sleep and dream. And then like in real life, just pretend that you're confident and eventually, you know, you'll just start to believe it. Fake it till you, you make it. Mm, I'll try, but my doubts press in on the sides of my thoughts like scary <laughs> fingers yeah definitely that was very poetic thanks oh do you still have the keys oh let me check i want to look at my pockets inside your pocket are four bone white keys <gasps> oh i have them oh wow so we should talk to orpheus oh I'd like to check my bag. Oh my god. Oh my dad. Oh, he crawls out of the bag uh, and just kind of drags his face along <laughs> the carpet. That was the worst night of my life. A Nazi? Well. A not hmm? What? A Nazi. That's who you lost? Yeah. That was the sixth key. Um, also, I have these. Holy crap. Good God. Good, good get, Iris. Oh, I thought they were just like corpses. What? Who told you that? Loki. He lies. Yeah. Loki. He did say he lies a lot, but. Unless he was when... lying about that. <gasps> if someone <gasps> says I lie all the time, what does that mean? I don't know. Because if they're lying. Oh, classic what? riddle. Oh, no. But what if Loki he was lying saved about me. Lying? He saved you? I was about to. She was about to key me, for lack of a better term, and then I blacked out in a dream. I know I was dreaming within a dream because suddenly I was on, uh, well, I found myself in squirrel jail. And if you ever find, ever find yourself in squirrel jail, give up, okay? They are terribly corrupt creatures in dream world, and it's just not worth it, okay? They're going to throw books at your head. I was... Learn to dodge. my friend. Huh. I guess the most important thing is that, you know, you don't offend again, uh, you know, because uh, I don't know what the revitism rates in squirrel jail are, but in real human prison, it's pretty high. So as long as you stay on straight and narrow, you should be okay. The system's corrupt. It can't, you know what? We're not getting into that. 
But the aim should important. be rehabilitation, but there's no way you can say that's true with how it is. Anyway, these Especially key- the squirrels. Yes, no, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, what can wow. you do with those? Oh, wow. Uh, Orpheus looks around and realizes that he went a little overboard. Oh, dear, I knocked everyone out, didn't I? That is uh, it's okay. really good for us. It's okay. They all really needed the sleep. Yeah. Unless they're also trapped in nightmares, in which case, uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that would suck. Thankfully, that's not an us problem. Okay, I'm kidding. They're fine. I'm sure they are, because speaking of somebody who has not gotten REM sleep for 11 years plus, I got to say, getting some sleep just now made me feel pretty great. Yeah, no, your dark circles are like, instead of here, they're like, they're just high and still, but higher. Mm. Call that a win. Anyway, um, hold on. I'm. You'll form you you make sure no one's watching and he begins to float. Orpheus floats a good three feet above the ground. He's glowing purple. And suddenly the keys swirl around him and burst back into color. How did you do that, Orpheus? And he falls down, the keys fall around him, and he knocks out. Necromancy! Snorri snoring, and you see a snot bubble. <laughs> oh, he tired himself out real good and didn't answer my questions about a Nazi. Not that I got the chance to ask. Yeah, it almost seems like that was a tactic to avoid uh, confrontation. So the fifth key is the key that belongs to a god named goddess named Anansi, who's pretty dangerous. Oh, really? In the wrong hands. Oh. So then I guess it would really depend on who grabbed her. If anybody did. Well. No, 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 Maybe, I don't know, in the future, maybe, like, we can have Orpheus, like, tell us what he's doing beforehand. Because, like, now we have these keys, and, but, like, I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I, I'd like to maybe all of us know the plan, you know? Yeah. It seems like Orpheus, like, we will do something, and then and then we'll find out what we've done you know, the consequences. I think it'd be nice for us to know what we're doing and why. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. all need to read this, the full script to be able to know the outcome of the play. Exactly. exactly. I am pretty curious about which ones are which, though. Can we at least, like, look at them and what they look like? Sure. Uh, one is a very violet kind of liquidy looking key. It looks almost like there's something inside it that if you were to turn it around, it was, you know, kind of looks like one of those wave desk toys. Um, another one, uh, well, resembles a rat. There's another that kind of looks like a uh, monkey's paw with a bunch of golden rings of uh, the end. And the fourth one is uh, red and scaly. Dragon. Okay, well, I, I I have an idea of what the first one might be, but I'm not entirely too. sure. I think it might be from the same pantheon as, as yours. Yeah. And, and I he think might it, be kind it of might fun. be kind of related to Lenny's in a way. Yeah, like a fun, fun, fun guy. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> wait. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Ooh. And before guys... he... Oh, sorry. Manny and Lenny, do you guys know about Dionysus? Uh... But I want to die in isolation. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no. He's the god of like theater of wine. He's the god oh, of partying. Like like par revelry and Yeah. 
I oh. think, I think, I don't know. I it think. could be off, but it seems pretty. I don't know who the other three are, but maybe. Well, one way or the other, we have to protect these keys from being taken again. And the easiest way to protect them is to hold them. Should we try and not touch them with our skin just in case? I mean, Kali is nice to me, but you know, I can't speak to if she'd be nice to literally anybody else. We should learn more about who these keys are. Yeah, let's Orpheus ask Orpheus. Oh, wait. Ever yes, wake yes. Up. <laughs> that was a cool idea, though, Lenny. That was cool. And all of a sudden, you guys hear Manny's stomach kind of start to growl. <laughs> oh, it's breakfast time. Oh, it's pa it's almost lunchtime. I'm hungry. Yeah. We should go get something to eat. Yeah. Should should we like wake everyone else up? Because they're like uh, not I awake. Think could, could... I think they deserve some sleep. You know, Been they were pretty tired. But, we could snack. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say like because Orpheus said he put everyone to sleep, uh, and like people's alarms are still going off and it's not waking them up. You mean well, they're in some kind of magical sleep from which they cannot awake? Yeah, a sort of sleep paralysis of some such. Oh, I'm of two minds with this. One, um, we should absolutely wake them up because that's the right thing to do. Two, we could do a lot of sneaking. Looking for. Oh, oh we can search, search things that search we're not things? allowed to search usually because people are usually there. Just like, like we could just search like one or two things. I don't have any specific ideas, but um, I don't know. Being kind of strong and brave uh, in my dream kind of made me feel a little more schemy. We should go to the library. Hmm. Well, I don't know what we need to search in the storm. Uh, and if we're not going to stay in the dorm i don't feel comfortable leaving everyone <laughs> unconscious on the ground which is completely fair and technically uh i am on the clock uh as an ra and have been for several hours we can we can wake them up if you want i i'm i'm okay to wake them up sorry about that as your phone goes off, Manny, uh, because you have also slept through uh, your alarm and meeting, possibly, uh, the funky beat of your cell phone alarm makes the purple key begin to wiggle and jiggle. And we have two tier unlocks to address. First off, rerolls for the table. Thank you all very much for that. And as the key explodes into purple energy, Dahlia. Uh -huh. How many times have you seen Cats? The musical or the movie? Because uh, both covers are quite shocking. Mm -hmm. Whew. Dozens. Yep. You are approximately between uh, six inches to maybe four and a half feet tall. Uh, you are standing in a kitchen, as is Manny, Iris, and Lenny. You all are wearing bizarre, shockingly revealing cat outfits. <gasps> oh. Yes. As a purple cat figure does a soft soul, because we have unlocked a jellical nightmare. <laughs> Uh, Dahlia doesn't even like have a thought before she just like starts to move around like a cat and hold herself in the way that they do on the stage. <laughs> What's happening? We're we're cats. Oh, you're not just cats, honey. You're cats. Is that not the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. Okay. Are we supposed to perform somehow? I can't do that. I. 
We have to get I, ready I for the know. jellicle ball. I heard ball. music. I heard music. Get... Oh, a ball. I can't go to a dance. No, not like this. Place... Do I wear clothes over it or do Iris... I not wear clothes? Iris, it's incredible. We have to perform for the... Oh my gosh. We have to perform and then if we get picked, we get strange. sent off. We become a jellicle cat and we get sent off into the sky into a better place. Till we die? A better place. Iris, it's about cats. Dionysus continues to dance, Iris, as you are living in a very fever dream-like nightmare. Which song is he performing? Oh, uh, the one where Rebel R Wilson rips off her skin to reveal a sparkly oh. number underneath it. Never You're mind, Dahlia's about... not having the time of yeah, her life. Yeah, nobody, nobody likes this song. Nobody wants Gumby Cat, okay? <laughs> Dahlia immediately realizes what's happening, and she's just like, no, no, no. You could have picked any song in this musical, and this is the one you chose. Give, Give us Gimbal Shanks. Shanks. I yeah. thought you were about fun and revelry. Everyone Skimble knows Shanks. that Skimble Shanks is the best number in the show, followed up by Mr. Mistopheles, yes. followed up by Jellicle Cats. Yeah. Yes. Well, what about memories? That was a little too sad too to sad. have a party, too. With you rightfully calling out Dionysus, suddenly the scene turns into Skimble Shanks the Railway, Railway Cat. You are now standing on working train tracks. And somehow you guys are about maybe four inches tall, maybe three feet tall. What the is scales, scale? The scale doesn't make sense. Scale, it's, it's like, whose line is it anyways? The scales, scales are, are fake and nothing matters. I'm holding a giant fork. That's oh, like this It's so thing. big. It's so big. I, I would think like Manny be... going through the tap dance number. Yeah, uh, Manny is trying so hard to follow Dahlia in this tap dance number and failing utterly and just making lots of ridiculous noise. Both of you give me a charisma for... roll. I don't want to roll for it. I want to <laughs> just be bad at it. <laughs> Please go. Good, I rolled a three. I'm just a bad seven. at it. <laughs> All right, Dahlia, you know. Dahlia, you watched that bootleg uh, Cats on YouTube enough times in middle school to where you have your own choreography, but you know the canon choreography, so you have this down. Manny, you're just having a good time. They, the, the, the click clacks sound nice. Yes. Suddenly, three cats appear, each one holding a drink as it's time for a toast. Uh, one of the cats steps forward. <clears throat> it's a me, Bondo. It was all a dream. A terrible, terrible dream. Amen to that. Witch slept. Get them baddies, you punk rock teen gods. Amen to that. And Misty Flores. Cheers to the cast and cheers to you, Misty. Amen to that. Cheers, Misty. So Dionysus, what exactly is the point of this intrusion into our lives? Oh, um... Well, someone brought me back to life and I'm very grateful for that. I'm gonna blame you for it for that. And honestly, I just missed feeling things. And what's more feeling than experimental theater turned into a nightmare movie? Yes, I agree. I've never felt anything more than when I'm feeling musical theater. <sighs> so who should take care of him now that he's out? Oh, I don't need to be taken care of. I'm a god. I'm fine. Wait, do you just get to roam around free now? Oh, no, I'm still technically a key, but you can let me out on occasion. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, who are the other keys? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's see. I know Sun Wukong was one of them. We have some great parties. Uh, let's see. There was that one whose name I can't pronounce, kind of the long, snaky, bleh, fire. What? Yeah, I, I can never pronounce Dragon? their name. It's, yes, and there was one I believed called Skaven, who I believe is part of this uh, new Pantheon deal. I don't care. Um, that wasn't helpful at all. I'm not here to be helpful. I'm here to have fun. How about this? Uh, 
if you ever need a party, you know who to call. Ghostbusters? I like you. I could have used you last night. We threw a great slumber party. I practiced my pratfalls and everyone oh, was, laughed. Yeah, was, a lot. Was she my party not Was the oh, party Linny. not very fun? No, I didn't. Oh no, it was fun. No, okay. it was so fun, Lenny. I I hate parties and I loved that one. Oh, okay. I'm just saying um if you and Dionysus team up, it could be it could be twice as fun. Oh. Unbelievable. Cool. I think that the three of you would be a cool power team. Actually, the four of you. You and 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 Dahlia and and Lenny and Minkasa and and Dinas. That would be that would be great. That'd be a cool party. And very theatrical. We have at least four acts. It would be incredible. So just on the climax. (laughs) Was it like too much pizza or not enough pizza? No, it was a no. And it was so cool. Like the size of the pizzas was really cool. Like all of us were like, "How could it be so big?" Yeah, it was so big. I was able to pratfall on it. (laughs) Normally, you can't pratfall on a pizza. Those pizzas are obscene. But as Dionysus uh, claps his hands, the illusion falls and the four of you are back in the waiting room. Well, not the waiting room. The... <laughs> You're back in the entryway of the Rio Grande dorms. I speak English, I swear. We have more keys now. What should We need to make sure to keep them safe. Should we all keep one, spread them apart so they don't all get stolen at once if the Phantom Queen comes? Sure. I just wish I knew more about who these other keys were. I don't oh, we can always ask Orphan. Oh, wait, he's still sleeping. That's why <laughs> I suggested the library. We could always go there and see if we couldn't find a, a, a book that is like super, super, or I mean, we could just use our phones and the internet and Manny just like <laughs> pulls up their phone and like puts oh, he in. Said, he said one was a snake with the... <sighs> A fire oh, yeah. snake of some uh, kind. I think that's the red scaly one. There it, was it, also a sun uh sun blue. Uh, sun that seemed Kong. like a party situation also. Sun Kong. Oh yeah, it's Dionysus said that they're very fun. What was okay. the third one? Uh Skaven? Oh right. Oh Ska Ska Scav Skaven or Skaven? I can't remember. We're sitting, Skaven. we're drowning here, DM. Help us. <laughs> Yes, it was Skaven. Skaven. Um, Skaven. Okay. I, I'm going to stare at your lips again when you say that. It's what? Skaven. Great. Thank you. S K A V E N. Mm hmm. Thank you. The only thing I can think, the only thing that's coming up is the, the, the Warhammer fantasy race of, of uh, terrible, terrible uh, ter- rat people. Well, Dionysus did say it was a new Pantheon thing, so it might be kind of like um, that. Oh, okay, yeah. So the rat is Skaven. Cool. And what did what did you say it was, Lenny? Uh, in in the Warhammer fantasy lore, uh, there is a race of chaotic, evil uh, creatures known as the Skaven. They are rat people who spread plague and want to kill the world. Cool. This oh, one's yours, Iris. <laughs> oh. Yes, uh, Manny hands the rat sled <laughs> keys to Iris. Um, it just falls on the ground. <laughs> she doesn't want to touch it, but it is near her. Oh, oh no, that's smart, Lenny, because Iris will never let that get out. Yeah, it's perfect for you. If anybody would be able to wield it responsibly, if at all, it would be you. My bet's on never. <laughs> which means it's safest with you. Iris, it's fuzzy to the touch. That's not pleasant. It's gross. No. Uh, no. She's gonna like u- use like the sleeve of her hand to like <laughs> pick it up. All right, and the Sung, Sung Wukong. Uh, um, yes. let, me, let me Google that really quick. The actor? <laughs> So oh. a quick Google search for oh. Sun Wukong as uh, no, no. the monkey king no, no, from no. Journey to the West. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I just Googled <laughs> it and it said an actor. So. 
<laughs> I got confused. Oh, you know the actor. We stand. I that's what I was like. Also, big fan. <laughs> no. Sorry. If this key just has this soul of of uh, Donnie Yen inside of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. You also get Dragon Ball Z references on the site. <laughs> yes. I keep looking up this last the snake one that's breathing fire and i'm just getting something called typhon and it says it's one of the deadliest creatures in greek mythology did a greek mythology thing yeah orpheus wake up so what was the monkey god one again sun wukong yeah Uh, like what does it do the monkey king is you don't know what it does or what kind of- Can we of Google deal? it? Do, yeah, what, can we Google it on, on our- I mean, we all have phones. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sun I mean, Wukong I just... is a trickster god known for being, uh, well, one, very good at fighting, and two, being the protagonist of the story of the Journey West. Uh, he is the monkey god. He is a uh, jovial, indulgent god. He's a good guy. I'm not sure between Dionysus and this one, which one you or Lenny should take. Because I think either one of them fits you. What would you like? Well, I already kind of, we got party already handled. And like, it seems like that other, that other key was all like really into like musicals and stuff. So I'll take, I'll take a, a cool monkey that fights people. Song Wukong, God of Theater and Wine. Oh my gosh, between Dionysus and Orpheus, I'm going to get so much practice done on my off time in my room. Wow. And I'll take the mystery key, I guess. And if at some point we realize that this is a switch situation, Iris, I'm cool with that. I'm, you know, I'm very cool with not having this key on me anymore. So let me know. Well, I'm thinking about the rat key, even though it's like plague and stuff like that. Like, I mean, you have Kali, who's like this big, cool, like death god kind of thing. And like the two of them as a team could be like really crazy. Yeah, like the beginning of time and a rat. (laughs) <laughs> i'll take it if you i don't mind keeping it if you want i'm just t- i'm just telling you nope hold on to this one i'll take it okay so then i now have the mystery you have the mystery, the mystery scaled key. red key cool yes this one has the tactile sensation of a snake when you touch it that nice smooth uh smooth bump. and dry smooth and dry okay right um as the four of you distribute the keys uh you notice stir- students begin to stir um some of them are waking up uh members of the soccer team including uh witch slapped are like shit i need to be on the bus like an hour ago and they are scrambling towards their dorm um Thank you for the sub, by the way. Uh, and it uh, looks like everyone's waking up normally, except for Orpheus, who is still very much pulling a baby Yoda. Wake up, teach us about the keys. Wake up, wake up. Oh, he worked very hard, though. He brought four keys back to life. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how he did that. He didn't really tell us anything before he passed out. No, he doesn't really tell us a lot of things. Uh, yeah. It's it's kind of, uh, honestly, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like uh, I'm being used uh, a little bit. Oh, but I was just going. That's really good. Yeah. Do you feel like maybe that's happening in other parts of your life? Um, yeah. Well, I know, I know the lacrosse team, like, when I'm not there, they fall apart. So, yeah. Mm. Well, well. What about it's a in a personal way? What about what? I'm just glad you're self-aware right now. Hopefully you continue to be self-aware. Yeah. Hopefully. 
Poor boy. One step at a time. We must reveal the truth one step at a time. In or his brain the... might implode. <laughs> and that is where we are going to call it tonight. My name's Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22. Uh, make sure you follow Saving Throw Show for some amazing content, including Deus Ex, Dice Ex Machina. I'm going to get the name right, goddammit. I'm going to get the name right. Dice Ex Machina, our uh, Theros Dungeons and Dragons game ran by Riley, who is a god and we must, goddess, we, we must stand. Um, we also have Tales from Salt Bay, which kind of took a turn, didn't it? Yeah, we, we were doing our uh, our three part Jane Austen uh, inspired game, uh -huh. Good Society, which was we just wrapped up, and they unlocked a a zombie version, which we don't. It doesn't have rules for that, so we Pride have to figure out how that zombies. works. You're doing yeah. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. They are doing Pride yeah. and Prejudice and Zombies, and it is going to be amazing. Make sure you check that out. Um, also, you can find New Pantheon as a podcast wherever you find your podcast along with wild cards which will be coming back for a new season soon keep your eyes open for that uh eric where can they find you uh well you can find me tuesdays here at 8 p.m pacific standard time on saving throw show for tales of salt bay we've got our, our zombie jane austen thingy we're doing uh this tuesday should be fun and uh, apart from that you can always follow me on mostly eric on all the social media including twitch where i stream video games very cool. Aki, where can they find you and your adorable hat? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. My entire Twitch streaming schedule is available over on my personal Twitch, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. S-H-I-B-A-R-E-A-K-I. -E um, but something that's been super cool that has just started up for me is that I am helping to play test cool and fun new uh, materials and as, as well as like uh, streaming techniques over on the Maze TV show um, uh, every Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time uh, for the next few weeks. Uh, I'm playing a, a space gecko named blue uh they are a detective and it's a lot of fun i'm playing as technically a monk uh but they are a grappling type and they use their tongue it's very gross um but it's very fun uh but of course it. you can catch me first thing tomorrow uh at 1 p.m on dnd twitch uh playing rhyme of the frost Ming with the chaos initiative it should be a lot of fun very cool uh mika where can they find you Hey, you can find me on uh, any social media site under RIP Mika, such as in Rest in, in Peace Mika. And also every Wednesday I play uh, on another RPG on Strawberry 17 Plays channel. It's called The Unleashed. Uh, this Wednesday is going to be our finale episode at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So uh, make sure to catch up on everything on YouTube and, and hang out with us. It's going to be great. Awesome. And Kelly. Uh, you can find me on all social media and Twitch at Kelly Nugee, K-E-L-L-Y-N-U-G-E-E. -E -E. Um, I, okay, I just did a um, a, a thing where I, I, I'm very proud of my community, where we raised a bunch of money to try and flip Georgia Blue. Um, however, this also means that we made my incentive, which means I'm going to be doing a Hard Rock Nick makeup stream. Uh, my makeup streams are notoriously cursed. My last one was Dobby. It was really upsetting for everyone involved. Um, it was uh, just really rock bottom for me personally as an individual. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, listen, listen, it's going to happen. Uh, check that out. Everyone was like, you don't have to do the makeup. And I was like, but I do. Like literally people were begging me not to do it. And yet here we are. So that's what's going to happen. Um, uh, 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 oh, you can catch me on, um, Stream of Bloods, uh, channel for, uh, 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 shit, when is it? Saturdays at, uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, we're doing a Call of Cthulhu, uh, two shot. The second half of it is going to be this week. So check that out. Awesome. All right. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. We hope you had a good weekend. Special thanks to Zom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. He, you know, without him, we wouldn't have a channel. And we will see you next week.
拜。